So yeah, you may as well break out your phone. All right. So go ahead and keep that. How's it going? This is Comics on Comics. I'm coming to you live from the Hollywood Improv. Um, as you may notice that we're in a different location. Um, we are no longer downstairs in the um, uh, happy hour slot. We're now um, uh, upstairs in the special studio area. Uh, so, ooh, shiny See the studio. deluxe apartment in the <laughs> sky. Yeah, deluxe apartment yeah. in the sky. Moving on up here at the Hollywood Improv. That's right. Um, so, here we are at a, another episode of Comics on Comics. Uh, why don't we go ahead and introduce our guests. Down at the end, we have comedian Ron Swallow. Hi. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Uh, so, tell us, uh, what's, what are some of your credits? I mean, I do comedy at every comic book convention that comes to the L.A. area, and I've been to... C2E2. I mean, I did other stuff. I was on if Mad TV. If he doesn't TV explain, if he doesn't, tell everyone, he, if he doesn't but, tell everyone about the fact that he was a professional rollerblader. Yeah, okay. also a professional on, rollerblader. That, that is something we did. I was sponsored. <laughs> I did backflips over long tramps and stuff, and people gave me a small, small amount of money, and then I injured myself repeatedly. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, and then, then you had to get it. out of the game. It was yeah. Worth, yeah. Totally yeah, yeah, no, it was awesome. I totally gave Wait, what confidence. was the name of the company? It was like Blood... Blood Wheels. Blood Wheels. Blood Wheels. I was like, Blood, Blood Wheels. Blood Blades. <laughs> and I was what locally was... sponsored by like Ski Systems or some crazy... Thing. <laughs> ski <laughs> Systems. Oh, oh, Chef's man. Sports Chalet. Right? Yeah. Right. Basically, yeah. Like that. Uh, and right next to him we have uh, Kyle Duncan Graham. Hello. And Kyle, um, what are some of the, the room. What, what are the uh, shows you do? You know, it's actually really embarrassing because this is the part of the show I was really the I was the most worried about because uh. it sort of looks like nothing. But I, I have a podcast <laughs> called Rock Rock and Roll Cheeseburger. I play in a I gig in a bunch of bands uh, around uh, the Los Angeles area. Um, what do you play? I play I play the bass. I play the guitar. You, knew you play bass. Sings sing, like an angel. I sing like an angel. Nice. Um, but uh, there's so many irons in the fire. So many. I've got a bunch of dumb podcast projects that are coming up. Maybe you'll hear one one of these days. Sweet. Maybe. And, uh, I'm sorry, your last name is pronounced one more time. Knupper. 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 All right. Like Knife. Knife. Oh, of course. Of course. Like Knife. Uh, Brittany, oh, what do you do? Uh, so I, well, I used to work at a comic book shop, but I oh, you know, no big real deal. Real no, uh, But I am a burlesque uh, performer and host. My stage name is Georgia O'Keefe. Mm. Uh, and I <laughs> perform with the Hollywood Jane Review, uh, Peep Show Menagerie, What the Fuck Lesk. A uh, bunch of shows. We actually performed at Kamikaze last year at their big after party. I had a oh. table there talking about nerd lust. That's what I do. And then I host a storytelling and burlesque show called Loose Lips with Georgia O'Queefe. Ooh. And where can people find that? At our bar every other month. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, so tonight we were talking about Suicide Squad. Um, mm -hmm. It's a movie that came out a lucky few weeks us. ago. Right? <laughs> right? Lucky us <laughs> to be talking lucky, about that. Lucky, lucky us. So uh, for Batman vs. Superman, you know, we did a show and I felt that, you know, yes, it was going to be a train wreck and most of the episode we spent trying to talk about what we thought was good. Um, we heard feedback from our fans who were like, why did you give Batman vs. Superman a pass? You know, Did um, you give it a pass, though? Well, we, did you give yeah, it a pass? Yeah, I, I don't think we did, but because we didn't rip it apart, <laughs> uh, because we tried to find the good in it, uh, like Vader, we, oh, so you, you know, mean like so you mean like you so passed bad. on it, not like a passing grade, because that's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, exactly. No, yeah. you were like pass. Yeah, but it wasn't enough for people. So you know, for Suicide Squad, we're like, all right, we'll we'll try to get if there was anything you liked about the movie, we'll get that out of the way now. Um, Ron, was there anything that you particularly enjoyed about Suicide Squad? Motherfucking Will Smith. The yeah. motherfucking Will Smith. I'm allowed yeah. to say motherfucker, right? You you may you're, 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 allowed allowed say motherfucker, you're, you're, you're allowed to say that twice. I don't think Will Smith is allowed to say motherfucker, though. No, like, you I don't, don't think do I've it. ever heard it. I think there's a chapter in Dianetics yeah. that won't allow him yeah. to say motherfucker. <laughs> it I just bleeps it. out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kyle, what was your uh, that favorite part? You know, I, I think I have to echo that sentiment. I did, I did like 
Will Smith. I like Margot Robbie a lot. It's every time I see her do something, I'm like, man, maybe this is the time she's. I don't know why I keep expecting her to disappoint me, but every time she's fantastic. And it was smart of them to put the two of them constantly interacting in the film. I did think that was mm. good. Yeah. But some of the acting was good too. I'm done talking about the things that are good in that movie. Okay, uh, Brittany, what did you think? My favorite part was when it was over. Yeah, <laughs> and I have to say, I'm gonna be the unpopular opinion, and I do not think Margot Robbie was that great. Okay, sure. I think she's just overwhelmingly hot, which is great. That I mean, that is a good. She quality. is overwhelmingly hot. But I That's feel true. like she's the best part of the movie for sure. But that doesn't make her good. Like I feel like being the best part of the shit. Like oh, you're geez. still shit. No. You know, like, we'll you're still. I we'll still think was better. But. No, no, no. Via, let's sign out Viola Davis. That was. Oh yeah, no, that's true. Best. She's the best. Amanda yeah. Waller was the best. Uh, she Amanda should, Waller. Was oh yeah, she, actually, she was the best. She was yeah. too good for that movie. And the problem yeah. is the reason we all forget that is because. It doesn't feel like she's in the fucking film at all because it doesn't feel like it's a f- oh, okay. Are we supposed to only talk about oh, yeah. the good stuff? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, wait, so uh, you know, so my I my my favorite part of the movie um, was you know out of nowhere there was a god battle in the yeah. middle of the movie. Yeah. There was you know, sure. so there's this ancient god, yeah. and then like oh, it turns out that the fire guy is like an ancient Aztec god of some sort, right? And you know that battle for about thirty seconds was pretty awesome um, as he starts to burn his chest, and you can see he's burning out his heart. Uh, but then... Oh, guys, uh, I should say it right now, spoiler alert. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. spoiler yeah. alert. Uh, <laughs> These people are pissed. You haven't seen the movie pissed. yet. Yeah, um, so uh, I don't know then what happened after he was burning his heart that he then, two seconds later, loses the fight. Um, he, like, ran out of fuel, I think. Like, I think he can only Aztec be... Fuel. I feel like he can only be, like, flame god for so long, and then he, like, maybe runs wasn't out of it. Was, was it because he was in the subway? He lost connection with yeah. the Aztec, the sun. Maybe, right. Yeah. <laughs> is that why? Yeah. The, the sunset? Is that what happened to the sun? Uh-huh. It was nighttime? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, so I was like, oh, Fire only burns in the Yeah, that's nice. You know, I was like, wow, that's seems like an angel now. trying to step in on your banter. It's all like, oh, boy. We're having a lot of fun banter, right? Now, oh, 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 banter. Banter. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, so that was my my favorite part. Um, and then there was the rest of the movie that was not near. That was a good favorite part. To that was you know. Yeah, so it was like the part. only fun battle that we got to see. That's right. true. Yes. It was like, the only fun. Battle. Yeah, well, yeah. that's not. I mean, yes, there was the only fun battle, but there were parts again, like like I enjoyed the part where uh, where they like showing Will Smith's dead shots skills off, and he just. Shoots a hole through one tiny thing oh. over and over and over. Again. That was that was that was kind that of fun. But here's here's the thing though. Like that was life. his fourth oh, boy, guys, yeah. guys. You know, so That's like because they were trying to show how much of a badass he was. And yeah, he was, but yeah. They're, they're like you know, it so worked. we're introducing him as the, as as a cool guy. We're introducing him as a father. We're introducing him as as an amazing you know dead shot. And he's just and like he's the only one we introduce at all. Well, exactly, except for except for Harley. But yeah, yeah. Right. And then the but I also feel like like with Will Smith, like can he ever just be unlikable? Like he was supposed no. to be this like super bad guy. But then they're like, but he loves his daughter. And yeah, he's doing okay, it for sure. Her. Although he and is. Like, that he is that that's know, who Deadshot no, is. No, I know. I mean, you but know it's that. just, like, I just really want to see, like, Will Smith play, like, a pedophile someone serial killer totally or something. Like, just some, someone disgusting. Yeah. It seems like he's on the Mark Wahlberg path of his life. <laughs> where you're like, nope, can't ever be unlikable. Even though Mark Wahlberg, I mean, maybe I he is. I don't know, I feel like Mark Wahlberg's He looks like the unlikable. biggest fucking dick. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know, it just seems like that Boston Mook thing. Just yeah. like, I don't know. I've, I've met enough of those guys that they're really normal. Really cool. well, I mean, Sorry for everyone in Boston. I mean, there are the multitudes watching in Boston. Yeah. Like, sorry absolutely. to Will Smith for comparing you to a Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. But, but here's the thing. With, with Deadshot, you know, he is, he's basically Batman, right? He's the bad, he's the evil Batman. He, mm-hmm. His yeah. father was killed, right. uh, you know, his parents were killed by corrupt cops. And he decided, you know what, I'm going to spend the rest of my life, you know, taking these people down. Yeah. So, whereas, you know, Bruce Wayne, his parents were killed by a random thug in the night, his parent, uh, Deadshot's parents were killed by, you know, corrupt cops, and they both go on to become, you know, Batman-like characters, mm-hmm. Batman and, and Deadshot, um, and that is the character that I was hoping we were going to get. Unfortunately, we got this, oh, I'm a dad, and I need to take care of my family. Also, yeah, exactly, first off, yeah. let's also point right. out that this movie should have actually been Batman Arkham Assault. The, the, the sure. Warner Brothers DC animated movie they did was literally perfect. And if they'd done just turned that into an actual live action movie with a little bit of tweaking for the dialogue to make it a little bit cooler or whatever, it would have been fine. 
their their uh, animation is absolutely not. Everyone, yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's the that's only the, part that stands that out. They only you know, well. um, that's because no on, Warner man. Brothers doesn't get involved with that. Yeah, right. We don't have <laughs> we don't have people you know um, uh, who don't know the properties stepping all over it. You know, yeah. it's obvious yeah. that Zack Snyder. Why, doesn't why know. is that? Why is that happening? Why is is it because like no one's just paying attention to it? Is it sort of like it's, they're not learning lessons? Yeah. Because no, no. I mean, what I'm Marvel saying does. is, they don't care. Yet. Why? Yeah. They're, they they're, not care about the animation side, or they're just like, ah, let it ride. We don't care because you don't. That's what everyone says is like the DC animated universe it's, is the best. It's amazing. Except and for the Killing Joke. Killing Joke. They oh, Killing Joke. Real bad. Really, really, Ooh. really terrible. Real bad. Well, they decided to add some shit in there that needed to be added. Mm-hmm. We're yeah, not yeah. About that. We, we, yeah. We can. Right. We, we brought it up in a previous episode, and I, I let my feelings know. You don't need to retread that. <laughs> we, yeah. Just saying um, it now. We killed but, that joke. But one of the things. Oh boy. Wow. We did kill that joke. Um, but one of the things <laughs> is is in animation, the people who work in animation, they love this stuff. They love. Love the the the, yeah, the, the DC com- universe, right. yeah. you know. The and you're insinuating books. that everyone else is just sort of like punching a time card. Well, it, it, exa- well it's not that. It's just that you know, the, well, everyone's just like that's sort of point. what this. That's sort of yeah, what they, part of this letter insinuates. Anyway, well, yeah, that the right. executive side is like, eh, you don't really give a fuck about anything that's happening here. Yeah. Right, right, and and you know when um, uh, Batman versus Superman came out, people were saying, oh, the 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 executives at WB were completely blindsided that this movie did poorly. Like they had no idea that it was going to happen. <laughs> I wonder what it's like. To, I wonder what it's like to be an executive at just, Warner yeah. Brothers. I, is it like just like which is amazing? Is it like a, like a sound like a dumber than me make room? a lot more money than me? Yeah, yeah, man, right. fucking, yeah. I, I'm uh, pretty stupid, and I, maybe I make more money. I don't it's know. pretty good chance. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't make a lot of money, but I'm definitely no dumber than you. <laughs> he knows one thing. I know he knows one, thing. one thing. I know one thing is that I'm not terribly smart. Yeah. It's one right. thing. Well, you know, so uh, you, you know, Kevin Tsujihara, he became the 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 um, CEO of WB after there was this power struggle, right? So there were three people in line for the job, and the previous CEO was like, "All right, you the three of you fight for it." Um, so it's it's obvious that the skills necessary to become an executive in Hollywood are are do not translate to actually making good movies. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, that maybe it's the the skill set to become a great executive in Hollywood are not necessarily the skills that you need to stay a great executive. Like getting to the top of the mountain is one thing. Right. But once you're at the top, like what if you've got the, you've assumed this mantle of power, right? Now what do you do with it? Yeah. You let you let Zack Snyder make movie after movie. They all look like fucking shit storms. All of them. Mm. They're all very bad. Zack Snyder should not be allowed behind a camera to fucking make any decisions other than make. You know he's a, actually kind of an accomplished DP. His movies look look kind of. Good. I mean, they well, look Man all the still same. Had some they're good all like black right. clouds so or brown clouds. Batman well, okay, has so, and, and, it's a, and honestly, it's, it's, it's right. so weird so that they're style. hitting actors perfectly. They really are mm. because Ben Affleck was the best Batman. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Yeah. Ben Affleck. <laughs> He was the best Batman. He is. Oh, yeah, no, he's, uh, yeah. he's a really that good was, Batman. He was great. Yeah, he was also really good at it. I was like, yeah, he I was on board. Excellent job. He killed it, but yeah. that, but they gave him no dialogue. They gave him yeah. no plot. They also made him stupid. Yes. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> that's the, that's the because key Batman, Batman wouldn't fall for something he's that a overly right. simple. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna, he, you're going to see that Lex Luthor is involved in a thing and then not write on Lex Luthor at all? Really? And they did the same thing with Suicide Squad. They They were like, they they didn't look at the, each character and make the character the person. They didn't they, right. they 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 changed them enough or they did this or that and and instead of uh, focusing on making a movie that is true to the characters and true to the idea of it, uh, they just do it whatever. But how, they are do. Gonna, yeah. how are you gonna? And they're also obsessed yeah. with having world ending calamities instead right. of having story. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Because right. like. Uh, again, you had the witch who was going to end the world and kill all the people and make yeah. them, you know what I mean? Like, by wiggling around a lot in the sun. By not wearing By making a machine. By being a, yeah. Yeah. Gonna a dirty naked lady. She, she, yeah. She's going to make that. And, and, and you're like, ways. you know, really, does, does does the world really need to be in peril again? I know. You know? Right. And, and the thing is that, like, okay, great. So what is Amanda Waller's plan? She gets all of these uh, God, villains. The and villains. Then, so and then something happens. And my question is, None of the people that were chosen for this battle, with well, I guess the exception of the fire guy, um, you know, like none of them had the special ability necessary. Right. No, none of them were to medical. Counteract. Well, I guess he, killed yeah, exactly. Croc, but like, he yeah, just like, looks like a crocodile. They like, talk about his Superman. Only, he's a good swimmer. They talk yeah. about Superman. They talk uh, about yeah. Like, like, they're like, well, we got. What if Superman decided to come down and 
removed the, the, the White House roof and just killed whoever he wanted to kill. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Harley Quinn's not going to stop right, him. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah like right. the solution yeah, was like, he, let's get a guy he, with a boomerang. When he shoots her from a <laughs> mile away <laughs> with a laser beam. Yeah. 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 Let's get this guy good at time knots and then kill him immediately. Yeah, so but, well, and also the fact that like the, it only happened because she was like, I'm going to force Enchantress to do this shit. Yeah. Like the movie like would not, like didn't have a purpose yeah and and in the in the in in our uh, assault on our arkham uh, amanda waller doesn't want some shady shit that she's doing to get out and the riddler has that information and he's inside arkham asylum so he she gets the suicide squad together to go infiltrate and then kill uh uh kill the Nick riddler Mark. that's the whole point was to kill the riddler i mean she made it like oh i need you to get this file from his right. from his cane, but that's not what the whole goal was. It was but you see what I'm saying? Like, there's a plot to that, right? And, right. and, a and that's a well, well, that's people, a right. that's a group well, of people well, that could right. accomplish well, well, that. And a reason to the, use them is right. it doesn't matter. If and what, they yeah, right. the purpose right. of the squad, right. yeah, was to take care of these like yeah these black ops things that like they couldn't acknowledge publicly. Like yeah. that makes and they were and as some magic lady, you could send Superman in for that. You could send right. Yeah, you couldn't. But the dead. Yeah, well, like her whole like they need to be bad guys. Like why? Like if they're to fight a to fight a bad Guy, you need other bad guys. Like they right. would just join the bigger bad guy. Yeah. Like, and you know, right. and so they send a special ops team with them, right? Yeah. There's nothing that they did that the special ops team couldn't do. Yeah. They had Navy SEALs already going to go down to yeah, to, exactly. to get the bomb, and a Navy SEAL sacrifices his life, right? Yeah. It wasn't even Killer right. Croc. Right. Yeah. We right. had yeah. to have a Navy SEAL. So like, yeah. oh, what are you doing there? Yeah. And uh, also, why was Katana there? I'm sorry. Like, yeah, was, she, she just came shows to be up sad about her husband. Right. And to stare at her sword. Her sword, yeah. sword. They were like, they were like, and she's got the soul of her husband in that sword. I'm like, get, stop trying to make something, stop trying to make a character well, interesting all of a sudden. You know, and then they, we'll, shoehorned pile of shit. Yeah, and we also already know that they, they, uh, didn't, they like stopped the release a little bit yeah. so that they could cut in funny things. And oh, then they this stole, is, this is the they worst. stole Deadpool. They tried to put that unicorn thing in there. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. In an obvious unicorn. way to try, oh. like, I, that was like, why would you use a unicorn, you yeah, yeah. Well, and it was and like all of their. We all, all know their, you're stealing from Deadpool. Right, right, and all their attempts at humor were like, let's punch a woman to the ground. Three times. Or like, <laughs> three let's times. just, be, or like, let's just be real racist. Like, let's yeah. just make Killer Croc that, the that, most racist terrorist. This is the thing that I feel like I could, I could speak the most like, on because that was. I didn't feel like I could even get into, like, actually talking about how good the movie was yep. or. or and actually analyzing like how good any of the acting performances were because it clearly felt like there were two movies being built at once mm -hmm. and like neither that. of them got well yeah like, yeah, <laughs> yeah but like none of them got fully realized it, it feels like maybe the original cut that was like a like way more intense and R-rated and not funny that may that might have been the movie I wanted yeah. to yeah. see well they so so you know so the, they they had a cut of the movie and then what happens in Hollywood is that um, a different company special that specializes in trailers they will then get any available footage and then cut a trailer for you they you know you give them the music they'll cut a trailer they'll make it really cool you know the they are they are the artists fuck. in this place because they took a pile of shit and made you love it yeah, no, that, right. that oh, I, know. Then, I don't know and why there is yeah. an Academy Award Best Trailer. Everybody yeah. flips their shit. They're like, oh my God, this movie looks amazing. And then Warner Brothers is like, oh shit. Uh, we didn't, that's not the movie we shot. Right. <laughs> like that's, I don't know where they got that movie from the shit that we shot. But chicken now, salad out of chicken now we have to turn that, we have to turn our movie into that trailer. Was I the only one that saw the trailer and was like, this is a really long Hot Topic ad? Like, that <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does look like that, too. Yes. Uh, it's pretty yeah. I, listen, I really like Fair Hot enough. Topic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's definitely Hot Topic, there, like, you know, well, turn I mean, of the century. Well, and that's like their, <laughs> yeah. their, like, marketing, like, they're, like, just trying to sell all those little Harley Quinn booty shorts at Hot Topic. Yeah. Like, that yeah. was their goal. But here's, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much but, for that. But, but here's the thing, right? It, it doesn't matter how much money people say are go they're going, uh, this yeah. movie's going to lose. They're gonna make all their money back in Halloween yep. on Harley Quinn costumes. Yeah, yep. Harley Quinn like, the Joker. It, it, it's, so it's gonna cost them like fifty cents to make you know a half a million booty shorts yeah. and and cheap uh, satin those, jackets and those little t-shirts and little yeah. t-shirts. If, and if all Warner Brothers had any balls, what they would do is they would stop everything right now, and they would say, "Look, we fucked up." <laughs> this already we fucked up. Great. Right? I, we're, we seem like we're stuck in this. We've got to do Wonder Woman. We've got to do this. This Justice League thing, and it's a mess, and uh, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna scrap all of that, and we're gonna start over, and we're gonna make this good, and we're just gonna take stuff from comic books and turn it into a movie. And then if they did that, 
we would have good Justice League stuff. We would have good Superman stuff. Do you we think they could just hit the brakes and start just start looking at the rebirth? Start looking at the rebirth thing. They've already done so many rebirths. Like how many Superman rebirths have we had now? So like the DC, how many rebirths do we need? How many Batmans do we need? So so like when you were working on the comic book, it's bats. How many times did the DC universe get rebooted while you were working there? Well, at the comic book store? Yeah. Oh, I only worked there this year, so not that. So, only, so only five times. <laughs> yeah. so Spider-Man, yeah, like, that's a different story, right, but right. Uh, that's Marvel, so. Um, yeah, yeah so, so like, you know, every, every you know, two years at this point, we've been getting a DC reboot. Yeah. And one of the things that DC said about two, three reboots ago was that, well, look, you know, the reason why we're changing everybody's costume is that so we can conform to to what the, we're doing on the movies, and that is why we're taking our time to put all this stuff. And it's just bullshit. Like yeah. we knew it was bullshit. Sure. And you know they keep trying to make us believe that they know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, when uh, uh, Joss Whedon uh, said, "Hey, I would love to do Wonder Woman for you guys, and I want to make it a period piece," and Warner Brothers was like, "Fuck you! No one wants to see a period piece superhero movie." And then Captain America comes out. And they're yep. like, yep. oh, um, Oops. maybe. <laughs> it's a daisy. They're like, but we wanted Wonder Woman yeah. in pants. So bad. Yep. Right? Well, right. you know, so they put her in pants. And then um, uh, fans were like, why is she in pants? And then uh, Warner, uh, DC is like, uh, they're retractable pants. Uh, so they're, that's fine. Wow. <laughs> and every tailor it's only on Earth is like, 47. Well, you can't do that. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're like, really? Retractable. That's how you. Get, how is that a thing? right? It's like that's it's like you could you could have just said you know what we fucked up. You're right. Oh, would you like, like you guys to retractable pants? That statement. Do you guys remember how cool those yeah. t- those like zip up tear away pants were in the yeah. 90s? Yeah, yep. exactly. Oh, she comes out with chalk on her hands. Oh, no, like, yeah, yeah. Say, do, the, do the Kevin Garnett. Oh. Go in front of the fucking yeah. scorer's <laughs> table and throw it up like, oh, all right, let's saying, have a fight. I was talking about those cargo ones with like the zipper under the knee oh, and over those. the knee so they could yes. be like the capris and the like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. capris. So nice. Oh my oh. God. Mm. Those were a lot of fun. They we even messed up one <laughs> thing yeah, that they For those of you who are coming in late, we're talking, this is Pants Talk with. Pants, uh, yeah. <laughs> we were going to talk about Two Sky Squad. Now we're going to talk about Pants. It's Pants, Pants Man. Talk. Pants Man. Um, another thing they messed up uh, in, uh, you know, when they blew up that dude's head? But yeah. they introduced yeah. everybody yeah. but Separate. that character. Yep. And yeah. we're like, oh, look who's going to die. Right. Yeah, I know. Is Thank obviously. you for giving that we're, away. It was yeah. We're going to kill the Steven was, Seagal lookalike. It was, yeah. it was, it was, it was like, like Slipknot, right? And yeah. and I forget who the actor was, but I was Adam like... Beach. Adam, Adam, Adam Beach. Beach. And I'm like, dude, he's gr- I love him. You know, yeah. He's always like the Native American in, yeah. in all these movies. And I was like, dude, I haven't seen him in forever. This is great. He's in the movie. And and then he would have been perfect if they'd done a small background on him. Exactly. Just Give a small reason. one, just like they do with everybody else. I feel like fucking anyone. I feel else. like if they had done like the Marvel approach, where they're like Deadshot gets his own movie, Harley and the yeah. Joker get their own movie, like and do that, and then do that sort of Avengers where they all come together, that would have yeah. saved so much time for an actual story and to introduce some of these more. Minor now, why didn't members. they do that? They said they said right out loud that they weren't going to do something like that. And did they, did, was there ever a good reason why? One of them uh, said, like, we don't want to do everyone's separate movie first. We just want to throw shoehorn everyone once. They were once. And they're in a rush. Yeah, that's they're, why, they're, right? They're, they're that, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. they did yeah. Batman Superman, right? And they're desperate, so yeah. they're doing desperate moves. Oh, of course, yeah. the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy, a oh. fucking no name dog shit comic book, comes out and makes the and fucking kills most it. money. It kills it. Watch your mouth. A <laughs> no name dog shit comic. The 2011 Guardians of the Galaxy was a pretty good comic book. The art was pretty solid. I'm not I mean, going to argue. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is like this is like beyond the B squad. Well, it, it was, yeah, right. They're it, turning it that into the biggest fucking movie yeah. in 2000. They do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. The right they do. Movie. It's amazing. Go. I love it. I'm not, yeah. I'm not mad at them. I'm just yeah. mad at fucking DC for right. ruining truly like well, the honestly, greatest superhero. I wonder if it's just a DC doesn't understand how to do comedy. Like I feel like what makes the Marvel movies like so fun and enjoyable like Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy so good is that it's like funny and fun uh, right. and then like when DC tries to do humor it's so How bad. can you not find a comedy like, writer in fucking right, Hollywood exactly. who like, also knows God? Like, like, oh my God. Let them banter do something you know because you've yeah. got like Will Smith Will Smith he's was hilarious. the only one who was funny in it. Exactly. That's yeah. It. And, and that's Dead just because he's Will Smith. not a funny kid. Exactly. Yeah. It's Will Smith being Will Smith. The exactly. most charming actor in fucking Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Barely yeah, made, exactly. Barely kicking a float in a movie that is a pile of shit in every way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we, you know, just you know, so you know guys know, thing? this is when we start talking bad about Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Suicide yeah. You know, the funny thing is, yeah, when I first, the first time I watched it, I just thought, Wait, you watched I didn't it multiple even, times? Uh, yeah, I watched it twice. 
uh, oh just boy. just to make sure. That's like three times <laughs> right. too many. Just to make sure. But I also <laughs> go to a specific theater that's super cheap. Mm. Oh, uh, like on uh, Coldwater that. Canyon uh, and Victory. That's yep, uh, seven bucks before five o'clock. Go there. Reclining seats. For those of you guys who aren't in the city, yeah. we're, we're doing little California chats right yeah. here in the middle oh, of the show. Valley 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 everybody Valley everybody Valley listening Valley is our friends. Valley 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 Valley. Valley. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, but uh, the first time I was like, oh, this is just mediocre. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> He said Valley Chat with Ron Swallow. And she said that's <laughs> a different kind of show. I'm that sorry. is a different kind of show. I know. Absolutely. I live in the Valley. I live there. Yeah, yeah Van Nuys. I live in Van Nuys, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. In yeah. yeah. an apartment Can we complex. change this podcast hey. around for a minute? We'll yeah. do that for like a yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Suicide Squad. Yeah. yeah. Well, that I'd watch. I bet you... I bet you the Triple X Suicide Squad is going to be better. Than the oh movie. God! Let's, can we do a screening of that? Can we do a screening of that? <laughs> you know, like if if D, if, up, if right now um, Marvel announced the Great Lakes Avengers Suicide Squad on Netflix, Sorry. everybody would be like, oh, "That's amazing! We'll, we'll watch that." Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. and 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 still, Dude, they're going to go. They're going to do Defenders. They're going to yes. They're and gonna it's do, going to fucking. Ruin. They're going to do Heroes for Hire. Like we yeah. got we got Night Nurse. From Marvel before we got Wonder Woman at DC, right? like that should right? that should tell you something. We mm-hmm. got Patsy Walker Hellcat, right? Before we got Wonder Woman, we got a talking raccoon and a tree. Which, by the way, Groot was the fucking are, breakout star. Yeah, for real, <laughs> totally related to that raccoon. <laughs> yeah, right. Absolutely. You know I mean? As a nerd, when he was that one part where he's talking about, uh, he's talking about you all call me a farmer and you call me this name and. And then I didn't want to be made this way. I was like, oh my God, this rat is my 14 year old self. I thought you were going to say, because yeah. you kind of look like him too. Like, you dip the small ears. He's on. a little handsome and a handsome. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a compliment. Yeah. We're yeah. Saying. Yeah. Okay. Um, we called you Bradley Cooper earlier. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Exactly. Off camera. Yeah. 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 We're that doing was the it on camera. Making, now. Totally uh, on purpose. So, okay, so, so let's let's talk about the 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 big relationship in the in the movie. Uh, yeah. Joker and Harley. Really? So, so you know, we, we got all of this, uh, you know, leading up to the movie, you know, like, right, well, Joker's going to be in it. And, and my first thing was, well, wait a minute, Joker's never been in the Suicide Squad. Why would they put Joker in this movie? Right. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, all the all the stuff that, that was captured outside, like all the, the, the paparazzi footage, was all of the shots of Batman on top of the car, you know, uh, going down the street. And... We had this impression that the Joker was going to be a huge part of this movie. Um, and we watched the movie, and he's in it maybe 10 minutes total? I, yeah, I'd say 10. I was, yeah, I'd say 5, 10 minutes. You, you know? Like Who? Uh, Joker. Joker. Oh, yeah, not a lot. And Common's in the movie more than the fucking Joker is. Yeah. Right, Com- and why was Common in the movie? I just Common, put his name in the movie. Common was like, so could, I want to do the movie. And, and they, they said, were like, okay. we fucking need anybody. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. like, look, I, I was in Wanted. So I'm, I'm not mad that Common was there. Like, but thanks he, for coming he, by. He was like probably yeah. the least offensive part of the movie. Yeah, totally. But, yeah. With all the lip piercings were pretty fucked. It, it was it, so. Common so we've got Batman. we've got this version of of Joker that is not good. You well, know, yeah, it's not. Like, it's, it's really no, bad. I feel like Actually, if they saw they saw Spring Breakers and were like, "Man, millennials sure yep. love that Riff Raff James Franco character. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's make the Joker that." Well, like, I, think, I feel like I there's think... a, a point where he probably had green cornrows and they decided to like scrap <laughs> it <laughs> with, with <laughs> weed braces. Yeah, well, he I had think the fucking that... grill. Like, oh. I think they didn't give uh, him much to work with. I don't blame him on that, honestly. Um, I think well, okay, so because they would try to make him a gang a gangster, I guess. Right. Well, yeah. That's Instead a, of a crazy like street, serial killer, like a street gangster. He was like, like a street gangster. The worst gangster, part but about this is now they have to commit like to Heath that. Ledger's Joker, like he well, wasn't right. his own. They can't run. have Joker as a as a as a villain ever again because they got to commit to this gangster version. Yeah. Of Joker in this in this world, yeah. and it's not a good version. No. Unless, never unless we, we 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 go into a different Earth, right? You know why? You know why that version of Joker doesn't work is because it seems to me that that kind of that gangster version of Joker, who just seems like really like a glossy version of like Kingpin or something. Yeah. The reason that version of Joker doesn't work is because why would why would Joker want to work 
within the framework of Gotham City to like make a business. Yeah. That's not what Joker no. Joker yeah. would rather like why the why the he'd fuck is Joker? It burn. He'd rather yeah. watch it burn. Yeah. He wants the whole fucking thing to fall apart. Why? Because Joker just he wants, wants it to fucking fall it. apart. Yeah. That's what he That's wants. And so why the fuck does also, he want to fucking be in the nightclub? Also the same reason the he wouldn't actually save Harley Quinn at all. Right. 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 Why does he all of a sudden well, like her? That What's whole plot makes no sense. Well, and in the comic, again in the comic, she lets him out. She does a, a, a thing where she does a shot that gets a spot for him to, to rewire uh, his his cell and then he escapes. Because Harley Quinn is obsessed with him. Right. She's not right. obsessed. Well, but then there's also, but also her the except comics, for abusing her she, and the power. There's also the part where she beats the shit out of him and leaves him too in the yeah. comics. And yeah. He's yeah. now, so, I think, dating Poison Ivy. But, yeah. yeah like, and that is super hot. Uh, absolutely. Um, but we have, we have. Uh, I'm in, really in, glad this in, is in the in the in the show in the in the cartoon. You know his relationship with her is always like she's always all over him, and he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I please. get it. Yeah, you're you, you like me, right? And then and that mean is, stuff to her. You know it, it, exactly, and she's like, oh, put in, right. Um, and the, they've got you know they allude to the fact of of her in the actual original Harley costume. Yeah, they show that. And yeah. him in the tuxedo. And they're like they're 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 dancing around and they're almost lining up the shot perfectly. I thought they were gonna freeze frame on actual on the actual cover. Yeah. And then they don't. Yep. You know, and I'm just like, oh come At on. At least do something for us. Exactly. Like you're 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 getting us there and then you you just choose not to. <laughs> you're just like, God damn it. Yeah. Well, and also, yeah, like, and they, he doesn't ever, like, do electroshock therapy on her in the comics. Like, he doesn't have to, like, no. like torture her brain to, like, make her right. want to be with him. Like, she wants, I mean, also the fact that, like, there, she was the psychiatrist and then fell in love with him. They literally just Florence show her Nightingale. sitting in a lab coat, right? and then the next shot is them leaning in to make out. And you're like, well, why? He looks appalling. He looks like a nightmare. Why is she falling in Women, love with uh, this version of the yeah. Joker? <laughs> like, yeah, I the guess girls, that, that cool. Is that girl, she was, the, was looking at her own. People, people, she was looking at her own reflection in the grill, maybe, and she was yeah. like, "God damn, I'm hot." Yeah, or or, or yeah. she's like, "Wow, he's got really good penmanship. He right backwards on his head, yeah. like <laughs> the style, right?" No one would actually give yeah. him that tattoo. He yeah. had to do it himself. He did it himself. Right? I, I, I know I have a master's degree in psychiatry, but right, but I'm gonna fall for this asshole. I, I, I. Right, okay, so we're saying it's a not good performance. I didn't dislike the idea of, like, a very, like, glamorous, like, drugs-era Marilyn Manson version of Joker, but, like, nothing about it was executed properly. And this is the everything we've spent, like, fucking ten minutes highlighting about how it's bad is bad. Like, I, wa- I wanted to like it. I really did, but, yeah. like... And then there's... You're right, the- you're right, Brittany. Like, it doesn't have to be... It's. It's why is it Heath Ledger's performance? But it's like a very light version of that. Yeah, it was like he was like, Oh, Heath Ledger did a cool voice. I'm gonna just copy his voice and then send people anal beads and laugh. call it method acting. Well, yeah. he, exactly. So right. you know, it, he's I a, a method, method, method actor, method right? Method. So that means that, you know, in, in 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 method acting you're you're trying to strip the the artifice of acting and try to be real. So right. well it's about know. finding yeah emotional truth and that's why you use like memory recall and the sorry I was a theater teacher. Great. <laughs> and you know, uh, but like yeah but so this isn't it. method acting. Like sending no. like torturing right. your your crew and your castmates is not of like affecting your performance it's affecting their performance. Yeah, like, and at no know. point does is the Joker known for sending used condoms and right. rats. Right. So yeah. so that is in fact Back yeah. to you creating artifice. That's a yeah, Superman. Exactly. Yeah. If he yeah. wanted to be Clearly. Superman, he would have done that. Yeah. 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 Right? Superman yeah. was He's all a about joker. safe sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, here's this Practical this joker. this person who, who has this idea of what, of, of what Joker is, and then he creates all of these layers, um, and it's not it's not at all the Joker, right? It's not at all what no. we want to see. Also, he's not scary. I'm sure no, I could kick his ass. You know what you, I mean? I would. Yeah. Lo- I want to pay. I want to pay for Ron Swallow, uh, retired professional rollerblader versus the Joker. I want to. I want to yeah, see that fight now. I could win that. I'm gonna have a blade off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now let's see some blood blades. I'm also a trained model. <laughs> yeah, it's called so. blood wheels, Brittany. Blood wheels. I feel like blood blades better. I'm blood sorry. Blades. Blood yeah. blades. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and then we have, you know, so Just so that's what, what yeah. uh, uh, Jared Leto was doing on the set of Suicide Squad. And meanwhile, we've got pictures of, of Heath Ledger on the set of Batman. And he's, you know, it's an amazing shot of him skateboarding over Batman. Right. Like, yeah. you know, there's this amazing shot of, of a Batman stunt double on the floor. 
and 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 Heath Ledger just doing a kick flip over him, and it's amazing. Right. You can tell that they were having fun on that set. Right. Yeah. Um, but where, I didn't even he like was that torturing movie, himself by the way. mentally and emotionally, but that. like that's yeah. Right. I well, haven't liked almost any DC external. movies. Yeah. Watchmen being maybe the closest that I've liked as far as like I almost liked it. Uh, I, really I liked the first to. Batman. I wanted to like it. Yeah. Wanting to like it and actually right. like it. Oh, yeah. really yeah. different. 89 Batman. I went and rewatched it and I was like, oh, I like this. Like, I still like that I movie. I honestly, yeah. to be and fair Batman though, Returns I do love really the campiness of those like Tim Burton Batman movies because yeah. at least they so felt like a comic book movie. It felt like a comic book movie. And Jack Nicholson was scary. It felt like the original Batman show, too. Heath Ledger was scary, too. Heath Ledger was scary, too. Don't get me wrong. Like, the original Batman TV series is really silly, and I think that's, like, a thing that's missing from these dark, gritty reboots, is that it's, like, it's ridiculous. He's running around dressed as a bat, and that's fun. Yeah, and Batman animated series has, I mean, you know, it's a pretty dark cartoon. It also has some very silly, fun episodes. Yeah, exactly. Right. And and many people have said it, that it is the best Batman stories ever, ever, ever done. So well, the animated you know, series, the yeah. animated series, yeah, it is, it is without a doubt, totally. you know, because everybody who worked on that show loved, loved the stuff, right? right. They loved yeah. Batman, they loved the DC universe, and they were able to tell so much history with that. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, we've got all of these new cartoons, um, you know, and so we, we've got the Killing Joke, right? And then the Killing Joke. They added a, a subplot that I absolutely hated. Um, well, it ruined the end. Okay, t- I, I guess we can just tell people. Sure, absolutely. Like, yeah, spoiler yeah. alert again. She, uh, yeah. Batman has sex with Batgirl. Mm. Uh, and uh, like this supposed relationship or whatever. Which is uh, disgusting. Which is totally gross. Yeah, it's totally yeah. gross. Totally yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah. And on top of that, uh, not only is it totally gross, but then it ruins the whole end of the movie. Because Batman's already putting up with with the Joker raping yeah. his the daughter of his, of, and, and a sidekick. Yeah. And... And uh, and doing the bad things uh, to to Gordon, and then in, on top of that, you add in that he slept with a person. I'm sorry, that's too much. So now yeah. there's no way he's gonna laugh at that joke. There's no way he's gonna forgive the Joker mm-hmm. at the right. end at all. He's no. gonna beat the shit he's out of kill him. him. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna kill him. Yeah. Because any person, no matter how crazy they are, no matter how much they're worried about who's gonna die in this situation, if they rape somebody you slept with. Sure. Yeah. That changes the whole dynamic. Yeah, exactly. You, 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 yeah. you, you know, you kill my my sidekick. I fine. I'll hate you. You, you then rape my girlfriend. I'm going to kill you. Right. Yeah. And there's no like. You, and you're right. There there's, is no laughing at the end of the joke. There's no like. No. Oh, I'll unless it's like unless you. it's like ha ha ha. Pull put a gun in my head. Boom. I'm done. I'm right. Gone now right. Too. Yeah. Like. And and you know there is this this uh, belief that Batman does kill Joker at the end of that story. Um, you know, Grant Morrison is the one who who publicly said that um, on uh, Kevin Smith's podcast a few years ago, and he makes a really great case for it. Um, and uh, you know, I when I read it, I kind of thought, I was like, well, that's like, what is happening on this page? Like, I didn't know what was happening on the page, and then Grant Morrison is like, nope, that's you know, Batman kills the Joker, um, and that is the last Batman story or the last Batman and Joker story. Um, so you know, but Suicide Squad, they. It, it does suck that they have to keep up this Joker. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that Jerry Leto has been saying then after the fact was that, like, oh, well, this isn't the movie I thought it was going to be. My part was cut down really low. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, like which might be true. It you, might be they true. They you acted like an asshole and you were bad. That's which they'll do. Which down. they'll do. Of yeah. course. Yeah. I mean, that's, he deserves that's it. probably, yeah. Don't be sorry. I don't know. Let him, let him have it. Let him have it. I don't feel sorry for Jared Leto at all. No, you, there's no. <laughs> yeah, he's doing fine. Sorry, he's, not sorry. He's, he's, he's got. Fine. He's got. He's got uh, Oscars. He's got. He's got an Oscar. He's, he's got. got. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna yeah. go crying his back for money. He has a Grammy, you he's guys. Got a, he's got a Grammy. He's Thirty got a seconds man. to Mars. He's got an EGOT. Proof <laughs> positive. Yeah, he's halfway to the EGOT. Yeah. yeah. So he'll probably be. In, Let's in, watch him get a okay. Tony, guys. Let's fucking watch it. Yeah. I Batman fucking dare you. Oh, no. he's, yeah, I'm sure he's listening to this, and now he's gonna go get a Tony oh just because you made that. I, happen. Just to piss right. you up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would love. I would love nothing more than to run into Jared Leto and be like, "Hey, I heard you come on comics on comics." Like, oh, really? Yeah, he's right. like, I'm gonna know. fucking kick the shit out of you, man. Seem like and that then he's sort of asshole, though, that he searches his like name on Google and like. Goes <laughs> Jared Leto. What are people Jared saying Leto. About yeah. My name is Kyle Lincoln Graham. 
Retweet this. I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you if I ever see you. Whoa. I'll bite you. Oh damn. Oh, yeah. Blood bleeds yeah. too. <laughs> blood bleeds too. Yeah, I'll watch. I want to bite him. Yeah. Well, you don't watch. You're gonna fucking help me out. Man. Okay, sure. Because you know he's a ton of muscle on him. There's no way <laughs> yeah. that dude ever. Swims We're gonna have to anybody. find security guards. <laughs> We're gonna have <laughs> like six of and them. It's gonna go yes. real bad. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, you know, but here's the thing. You can pretend they're his henchmen, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get you. I'm so method good. acting. Oh, whack, 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 whack. <laughs> That'll be it. Sounds good. Oh, that boy. would be hilarious. Boy, oh boy. Well, and it ruins the story because, again, one the best part about the Joker is that he throws a wrench into everything. Right. Yeah. So Even when his he own escapes, yeah. yeah. When you know, he escapes, you don't know what the fuck he's gonna do. Yeah. And so yeah. the whole crew is gonna be worried about. Oh no. Well, now we have to deal with the Joker. What is the Joker gonna do in this situation? Who knows? He might just kill you all, or he might, you know, draw something funny. It all depends on his move. Yeah. What's yeah. the Joker going to do? Yeah, his yeah. gun could just right. have a sign that says bang, and it could just put a bullet in your head. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't even know, yeah. right? Either way, he's laughing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and they were. <sighs> yeah. yeah but... you know, so... Also, can I just say, why was Harley's fantasy when they were having that enchantress like fantasy moment was like the 50s though? housewife scenario where he has eyebrows and they have a baby and they're normal? I'm like... She didn't fall in love with that though. Like, that yeah. can't be what she secretly wanted. Yeah, good call. She chose anarchy. It would have been so be fun if they did the real one where she it's just the Joker stabbing a dude and she's like, Woo! Right, exactly. Woo! That's what she right. wants. That's what she fell in love with. That's what yeah. she chose. Why would she all of a sudden want the opposite of that? Oh, like, I know. Because Zack wanted... Snyder doesn't know how to make a fucking movie. Well, what? also, they wanted to make her likable. That was a yeah. big part of all of this. Right. Well, is they I wanted to they make also... all these bad guys. Likeable. That's oh, why I, I, around got the like, unicorn, I don't think man. I feel like they're also just bad at women, maybe, where they're oh, that's, like, that's all women yeah. just that's want what, a maybe. husband and a nice house. No one had any idea. No, but that's, that's why well, Katana's well, married to her sword. Go. But right. that's that's true though, that's, right? That's yeah. so bad. That's oh, all all women want to do is just get married and have kids. Yeah, right? because they have they are no husband. Oh boy. Oh boy. A job that you know I'm happy with. Yep. That's um, that's why she dove into a, a pot of acid, I guess. Yeah, just what happened? So does does that kill anyone, or do they just come not. out? It was a bad AY. What dissolves happened? Clothing. It, it's uh, it was a Lazarus pit, yeah. I guess. You know, so she jumped right. off. I don't know. It was yeah, it was lame. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, like, you, so we've never really had an origin story for Harley in the comic books, or you know, or anything. So, you know, we have some idea that okay, so she kind of went crazy, and you know, but. She's well, never Stockholm had syndrome. Yeah. Like Stockholm syndrome pair, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, she was his psychiatrist and and he just kept talking to her and being nice to her until he needed you know, to get her to do what he wanted so he yeah. could escape. Yeah. But it made he made her fall in love with him and then Right, yeah. And yeah. then she just kept chasing after him and he's yeah. like I mean ah, honestly I think my big issue, I mean well kind of with the Harley Joker relationship. It, the way that it's become popular in our culture is like this weird, uh, like yeah, yeah. glamorizing of this clearly abusive relationship. Yes, that's a bad that's idea. True. And like that, it's n- and like whatever, like adults who go to Comic Con and cosplay are like whatever, do what you want to do, even though it's like stupid. But like it's like teenagers are now like like teen girls are being like, oh Jared Leto, what a dreamboat, and I want to be like Harlequin, and I want to find a guy like that, and that seems like that's a cool thing to do because well, they love each movie. other. Well, it's from the movie, but well, it's, it's from also, a lot of different but it's also sources. From, like, that's just one of the fucking yeah, sources. Like, Harlequin is one of the most popular like things to cosplay Absolutely. for girls, and I feel like, and for me, I'm just like that's so bad, guys. It is. And, it, and it sucks because ah. you know it was it was six months ago. Everyone was dressing up as Ray, you know, from yeah. Star Wars. Right, exactly. Like, yeah. that was you, awesome. you know, you you go to Comic Con, yeah. everyone was dressed was dressed up as Ray, and right. now you're you know like we're a Comic Con. Now back we're back to, back to Harley. Back to booty shorts. Back yeah. to yep. yeah, and it's like. I, I imagine that when they created her costume, they were like, all right, if we're going to mass produce this, how are we can make it the cheapest possible? Yep. Right. You know? And, you know, because obviously you're not... Retractable pants. <laughs> yeah, they went the Wonder Woman room. That's how you do right. it. Well, and also the fact that, yeah, that, I mean, not to mention the whole thing of them, like glamorizing, sexualizing, while simultaneously infantilizing a mentally ill woman. Where they're yeah. like, isn't she a sexy baby? Yeah. Doesn't this sexy baby give you all boners? Like, right. that's so Oh, man. Bad. She doesn't ruined my she, boner. She can't yeah. use her own Where, like, brain. it was all slow, sh- like, pans up of her and her, like, yeah. you know, butt cheek shorts and, like, all the dudes, like, you know, creaming their jeans in the background and being like, oh, she's so hot. Too bad she's crazy. Like, oh, guys, we get it. Margot Robbie is hot. 
Harley right. Quinn is hot. But and like, there, were, there, were, there were a few shots where it was just close up on the ass as she yeah, moves. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And, then, and you're just like, oh, okay, well, all right, we saw that again. Yeah. Right. You know? That was like all they would give her. Yeah. That, she, that, was her, yeah. that was her performance, right? That was like her performance. Her, her was ass being, And then yeah. she's a bartender all of a sudden for a little bit. Oh, yeah, she right. 